Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Borders. Welcome to Mike Borders' channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're talking computer monitors and we're gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to remove that base or stand that your monitor rests on. All right, YouTubers, in front of us is the SF350 Samsung monitor for a computer and we are going to mount it on the wall. However, we need to remove the base first. And as you can see here, I've got a towel laid down on a table to alleviate any damage to the face screen of the monitor. So what I'll do now is position the monitor safely in a manner which will allow us to conveniently remove that base. Carefully grab the monitor, position it face down, rest it carefully where the base is off the edge of your table. And from here on the very bottom, you have this little tab and go ahead and turn it to the left. You also have the option of inserting a Phillips screwdriver. However, they make it pretty convenient. And once that is loose, carefully shift the base off, set that aside. From here, the palm of your hand will go in the dead center of your four screw holes that are there for a wall mount. Don't put it here, don't put it here, don't put it down here. Put the pressure here. Do not apply a lot of pressure, just enough pressure to alleviate your monitor from shifting or sliding as you pull this part out. Just like that. Next, right here is a Phillips screw. Go ahead and carefully remove that. Will be literally impossible to remove unless or until we separate the monitor face with the back portion. And to do so, I've got a small flathead screwdriver and I will carefully insert the screwdriver and they've got little slots here throughout the entire portion where these two pieces connect or meet. And YouTubers be very careful, be patient, don't rush it. You'll notice it just pops right apart just like that and just carefully work these two parts apart. I'm going to go all the way to this side and just carefully pull these two parts away from each other. Now, once you get them separated, carefully rest it back down on its face. And right now it's disconnected from each side and the bottom portion is still connected to the top and I've removed back panels of monitors several times and I recommend leaving this portion connected. What I've got here is a regular socket and ratchet and then I've got a Phillips screw head bit. I'm just going to put in there and I'm going to loosen the two screws inside here. As you do this, don't raise this panel too high because you will break the plastic connection points at the top of the monitor. I've removed the ratchet and I'm carefully removing the screws. At the same time, underneath your hand is the motherboard and additional parts. Don't harm those either. After removing those screws, here is your back plate. Set that aside, set your screw aside, and this part comes right up and off. And from here, carefully realign the sides and just carefully apply pressure around the entire monitor and press the two pieces back together. And you'll hear a lot of clicking and those are the plastic securing tabs internally re-securing themselves. And that's it, YouTubers. The mount is fully removed and we will store that in the event that we want to put that back on at a later date. Go ahead and carefully align the thread and insert and secure that screw. Again, you're working with plastic. Don't over tighten it.
from here, we are going to mount this on the wall. We're not going to bore you with that process in this video, but in the event that you want to see what mount we are using to mount our 24 inch Samsung computer monitor on the wall, definitely check out the link scrolling above. You may find it helpful. From here, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. Thanks again for watching.